To get your truck excellent braking performance, especially when towing or hauling, you'll need this awesome F-150 brake kit from our friends over at PowerStop. This complete brake system comes with a full set of PowerStop's legendary rotors that are combined with PowerStop's Z36 Extreme Truck and Towing brake pads that give you the extra stopping power and greatly reduced fade your F-150 needs when getting thrown around off-road or while towing and hauling all of your awesome gear. After removing the front wheels, we started disassembly of the brakes by removing the two bolts on the back of the caliper. The caliper will slide off of the brake pads and can be set aside. Remove the brake pads from the caliper bracket, then the bracket can be removed by taking off the two bolts that hold it to the hub. Replace the old rotor with the new power stop drilled and slotted rotor. We threaded on two lug nuts to hold the rotor in place for now. On the caliper bracket, remove the four old clips and replace them with the new clips supplied by PowerStop. Next, pull the caliper pins out and refresh them with the new rubber boots and fresh grease that come in the kit. Now that the bracket is ready, move back to the caliper and press in the pistons using a compressor tool and the old brake pad. Reattach the bracket to the hub with the factory hardware, then insert the brake pads into their clips. The pad with the humps at the top will be at the back of the rotor. Then slide the caliper onto the pads and tighten it down to finish the front brakes. The rear brakes are extremely similar to the fronts, so remove the wheels and disassemble the caliper, brake pads, and caliper bracket the same as the front brakes. The only difference is that we removed the brake pad clips at this time rather than later on. After the bracket is removed, replace the rotor. If surface rust adhered the rotor to the hub, use a mallet to break it loose. Refresh the caliper pins with new grease and bushings, as well as replacing the plastic sleeve on the pin. Once the sleeve, grease, and bushings are on, replace the pins in the bracket and reinstall it on the rear end. The new brake pad clips can be installed on the bracket, then the brake pads installed in the clips. Press the piston back into the caliper to be able to slide it over the brake pads. You may need to push the caliper pins in slightly to reinstall the caliper. Replace the wheels to complete the install, and remember to perform the break-in procedure to properly seat the pads and rotors. 